Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony Carpen here at Limoncello's on Mill Road, courtesy of Steve Turville. I'm going to be interviewing Shahida Rahman, who is standing for the Liberal Democrats in East Chesterton Ward on the 5th of May for the Cambridge City Council elections. And she is here with me now. So, Shahida, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Let's see if I can move the camera in. Tell us a little bit more about you and what in particular it was that inspired you to stand for election? Okay. I was born in Cambridge uh, and I grew up in the Mill Road area so I was born on the Cambridge Maternity Hospital on Mill Road. Uh, I'm a twin as well um, and I moved to Chesterton in 1976 and uh, my mother is still there. Um, so you know I've lived in Cambridge all my life and uh, I went to Chesterton School uh, which is in West Chesterton um, and I'm also married with uh, four children, uh, so two of my children also go to Chesterton. Uh, so I decided to uh, stand as a candidate, actually I stood last year, um, and I think the primary reason being it's about, you know, for me improving the area that I live in. I, I live in East Chesterton, I've lived there for uh, almost 13 years now. So. I thought, well, instead of other people making that decision for me, let me be part of that decision making and, uh, you know, let me do something to help improve our area and also listening to residents' views and representing their views. So, you know, I'm the person that, a type of person that likes to help people um, and uh, many years ago I worked at the Cambridge Citizens Vice Bureau, so I advise a lot of people. So I think it sort of carried on from there just, you know, to be able to help people and, uh, uh, improve their lives. You've really. been out and about on the campaign trail this year and last year. What were the main issues that residents were, were raising with you? I think the number one topic is the Milton Road proposals by the City Deal Plan. Because we're just at the top of uh, Milton Road, that's where East Chesterton starts. Uh, so we we get a lot of questions uh, from concerned residents. Um, the thing that the Liberal Democrats in East Chesterton spearheaded was the Green Up, Green End Road scheme. So it's really improving Green End Road to make it easier for cyclists, pedestrians and car users at the same time. So uh, we managed to secure £20,000 funding for the, um, uh, for the feasibility study. So uh, we're hoping that that is also part of the city deal plan that we will see some improvements on Green End Road. So a lot of residents have expressed uh, their own concerns of how sort of untidy sort of Green End Road is at the moment. What difference do you think you will be able to make in a four-year term as a um, as a city councillor? I am a Canterburyan. I'd like to say I've grown up here all my life. I have siblings here. Um, Cambridge is a wonderful city and it's um, diverse as well and I'd like to bring something different to, to the City Council and also represent views that perhaps uh, other people feel that they're not really being heard so for me that's really really important I'm not doing it for myself I'm doing it for the residents of East Chesterton and that as I said before that's something I really want to do be able to help them and be part of that decision-making process. Representing really a diverse range of views what sort of things have people been telling you that um, they feel are not being heard or not being considered by you know not just the local council but just politics and politicians in general I think in general there are some people who feel frustrated that their views aren't being heard um, I came across a couple of residents who didn't even know one of our councillors in East Chester I found that quite alarming um, at the end of the day, if uh, residents do have issues, they need to know who to go to. So it's great that we're door knocking, we're talking to people, and that is the number one question that we do ask. Is there anything that we can help you with? Do you have any issues? And that's when they feel, yes, it's right on the doorstep, they can uh, put that to us. So I think it's really, really important to engage with the community, engaging with residents, and really listening to their views. And, and that is, I think, the number one priority for me. Because uh, one of the things I found when I stood with Puffles was just how frightening it was um, just approaching the general public and just asking them or inviting them to, to, to talk about politics. So um, for people who've never done that sort of campaign, you know, where you're knocking on people's doors and going into their, you know, into their personal spaces, what's the, the reaction generally been like 
for the general public and what advice would you have to you know people who perhaps feel frustrated and want to get involved but are perhaps a little bit nervous like I was um, you know stepping forward and getting involved in, in local I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous when I first did it first time round and it can be nerve-wracking knocking on strangers doors and just suddenly saying to them can I help you with something so but it takes confidence um, and I, I think it's also teamwork uh, but I think it's when you engage with people it's the approach that you give them as well it's really important friendly face you know and someone who really can think on the same lines as you so yeah I think it, it's wonderful I've spoken to so many people and they will be absolutely wonderful and it's really great speaking to them and I think it's it's gaining confidence as well so I mean many years ago I don't think I could have done this you know just knock on someone's door and actually speak to them but you know I really enjoy that part and I think it's really really important for me. And I guess final question for me is let's assume you are elected what would you like to achieve in a four-year term as a councillor and ultimately you know what would you like a, a legacy to be or what would you like to primarily achieve as a councillor in, in, in those those four years i think it's as i said those residents who feel that they haven't been heard i really want to focus on them and and see what they have to say and have their views heard it's about representing the views of everybody not a certain section of the community and it's also as I said making improvements to East Chester and that residents feel happy about you know I live there and I feel that's really really important for me to be able to improve the lives of others and the area that we live in and Cambridge is a beautiful city uh, and I'm proud to be uh, a resident of East Chesterton and I think it's focusing on local issues that people feel very strongly about so it's not doing what we feel that the residents want it's what the residents would like us to do and I think that's really really important. And I guess really stemming from that answer over the next few years what do you think will be the biggest challenges for Cambridge and in particular East Chesterton Ward? Well I you know no job is ever easy and there will be challenges and there will be issues that some people will be happy about and others won't be but I think the biggest issue is the uh, the Milton Road proposals uh, traffic is increasing in Cambridge all the time uh, and it's going to continue increasing all the time unless something is done about reducing that congestion. So I think that is a huge focus, you know, how are we going to deal with that? It's about being fair to cyclists um, and we need to improve the bus services as well um, and also reduce people going into their cars and driving around the city. Uh, but also for pedestrians as well, they need to be able to walk around in Cambridge feeling safe uh, just as well as cyclists should and I think uh, again some pedestrians are ignored you know uh, there are people who don't ride bikes so, you know we need to ensure the safety of everybody so there are lots of issues going on oh absolutely you know uh, pollution you know we really need to uh, reduce pollution in Cambridge and it's a fast-growing city and it's a it's a very busy city so we need to do you know take action and and put things into place you know trialing certain elements rather than putting things set in stone we need to trial different elements and see how things will work for that okay. thank you